Maurer and Structure present Tall Buildings in Motion Today, modern tall buildings often exhibit wind-induced vibrations. This is caused by the need to build more slender structures in densely urbanized parts of the world. The potential for finding optimized building solutions is unfolding through enormous developments in computational design tools. Computational parametric design allows engineers and architects to create buildings that would have been unimaginable a few decades ago. Computational fluid dynamics software enables the assessment of wind loads on complex building shapes. Building motions and reactions are determined by computational structural dynamics software. Two high-rise structures located in an urban wind flow environment with varying conditions are designed for the current study. The first high-rise structure is located in a downtown area where the flow is dominated by turbulent wake regions of nearby buildings. The facade is developed using translucent lightweight panels. Parametric algorithms are used to analyze the solar radiation on the facade without shading panels. Based on this analysis, width and angle of the shading panels are adapted. This approach reduces the radiation peaks while saving material for shading. The second building is located in a suburban area with low-rise buildings. Wind flow is dominated by the surface roughness of the terrain. The skin of the building is inspired by an origami pattern which provides a concept for the parametric facade. The optimization criteria are maximum light incidence and equally balanced angles of the substructure. Computational fluid dynamics simulate the wind flow in the virtual wind tunnel using a customized version of open foam. This process was developed and validated during several engineering studies. The model of the investigated high-rise structure is extracted from the parametric design interface. At first, the space engaged by the air is modeled by a hex-dominant finite volume mesh. Following this, the surfaces and regions where the flow circulates are refined. Streamlines provide a simple post-processing tool to visualize flow patterns in the vicinity of the investigated building. They indicate influences from nearby buildings and aerodynamic properties can be qualitatively assessed. Obstacles in the path of wind convert the kinetic energy into pressure thereby creating wind loads. Horizontal cut planes are created to visualize velocity contours in varying heights. Surfaces showing velocity and pressure fields give insight into the turbulent vortex structures occurring downstream of buildings. Pedestrian level wind conditions can be investigated and compared to criteria for human comfort. Mitigation measures such as windscreens and massing changes can be evaluated. Natural wind gusts are created by the ground roughness and the signature turbulence of buildings. An innovative wind generation technique allows the use of natural wind boundary conditions for the virtual wind tunnel. Sophisticated CFD simulations are used to predict peak wind loadings on the structure. Time periods of several windstorms are computed to assess statistically safe extreme values. Computational structural dynamic tools apply transient pressure fields on the finite element model in order to compute reaction forces and displacements. Tall buildings are generally considered to be bluff bodies with specific flow features. Positive pressure is exerted on the windward faces, whereas negative pressure typically occurs on the leeward side of the building. The structure is loaded by pressure fields varying in time and space on the facade, which results in structural displacements and accelerations. Their assessment, supported by visual and statistical post-processing methods, allow the engineer to achieve a satisfactory wind performance. Two criteria need to be satisfied. The structural integrity for the lifetime of the building 
and the accelerations of the structure for occupant comfort. The computational methodology is validated by comparing simulation results with measurements from physical wind tunnel tests. Base forces from experimental procedures match results from numerical simulations within a range of 15% for the major part of the fluctuating responses. Fluid structure interaction simulations enable the assessment of motion-induced vibrations. Computing flow solutions on moving meshes allows the determination of interaction of the structural displacement and the flow field. Beyond that, the investigation of all kinds of geometries and non-linear structural behavior is inherently included in the simulation method. Today's capabilities of computational design tools enable the realistic assessment of all wind phenomena and response mechanisms of tall buildings. With this setup, complex structural systems and building shapes can be analyzed and optimized. Expansion to pedestrian wind climate, building physics and thermal comfort can be integrated into the digital design process. Computational simulation techniques provide an efficient and economic solution. Start your next project with Maurer and Structure.